Now that we've roughed out and carved the basic shape of the wings, it's time to add in the detail. In other words, the feathers. I've kept the design of the swallow wing relatively simple, so there's just a couple of feathers to carve. The goldfinch wings are a bit more intricate. They have a lot more feathers to carve. However, at this point, you can adapt the design to suit your confidence level. For example, if you want to carve the goldfinch wing, you could reduce the number of feathers in the design. In this video, we're going to be drawing up the wings ready for carving. So it's up to you how many feathers you draw in. I'm going to start with the swallow wing. You can skip ahead to the goldfinch wing if you need to. You will need your reference sheet from your carving kit. On it, you will see that there are designs for the right top view of the wing and the right underside view and the left top view and the left underside view. We're going to refer to all four of these. Once we've drawn up one of the swallow wings, it should look something like this. Note that the feather lines line up with the vertical markings on the side of the wing. You should still have some vertical markings on the side of your wing, and you can use them as a reference point. I'm starting here with the left top side view. I'm placing my piece next to the diagram so it's really clear. I begin by drawing in the central dividing line referring closely to the reference sheet. This line divides the two sections of the wing. Next, I draw in the feather lines. Here's a tip. Draw in the top of the feather line first, then mark it in at the bottom, tracing off your side markings then join the two points up. You can also draw in these extra lines we're not going to carve into these lines. These are colour guides for painting later. Tip. Always make sure you're happy with your lines before you start carving. For example, I felt that I'd brought the feathers up a bit too high, so I corrected that first. Now it's time to flip it over and draw in the left underside view, referring again to the reference sheet. Follow the same process as before. Watch what I do, and I'm sure you'll get the idea. After I've finished drawing up the left wing, I'll draw up the right wing as well. Once you've drawn up both wings, it's good to do a quick check that they look roughly symmetrical. 
Now I'm going to show you a bit of before and after footage. Here's the right wing before carving. And here's the left wing after carving. You can see where ridges are formed along the feather lines. You can use this video as a reference point when you're carving. Now I'm going to guide you through drawing up the goldfinch wings. Once again, you'll need your reference sheet. On it, you will see designs for the left wing top view, and the left wing underside view, the right wing top view, and the right wing underside view. I'm demonstrating with the left wing, starting with the top side. Use the markings on the side of your wing as reference points for where the feathers need to come to. I recommend starting with the innermost feather. Try drawing it in and then check that it lines up with the side marking. Watch what I do and you should get the idea. Don't forget you can always erase and adjust your lines as you go. Here's the top view once all the lines have been drawn in. You can see that they all line up with the side markings. You might have noticed that there are some other lines that we haven't drawn in. We don't need to draw those in yet because they're guidelines for adding colour later. Also, once we start carving, we'll actually carve a lot of those lines away. Next, I'll draw in the underside lines, following the same process. Again, I'm just drawing in the feather lines for now. This time, I'm actually starting with the outermost feathers. Notice that the feather lines on the underside follow a slight curve at the base. Try and imitate this in your drawing. This is what my underside wing looks like once all the feather lines have been drawn in. Here are those curved edges I was referring to. These shapes will become more clearly defined when we start carving into the edges. Now draw up the right wing, following the same process. Once you've drawn up both wings, make a quick comparison to check that they look roughly symmetrical. They don't have to be absolutely exactly the same. Now I'll show you a bit of before and after footage. Here's the right wing before carving. And here's the left wing after carving. You'll see where the ridges have formed along the feather lines. You'll also see how the outline of the wing no longer follows a smooth curve. Notches have formed in between the feathers. You can use this footage as a reference point when you're carving.